Papa Bless, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Working Title. Nothing works harder than this title. Nothing, nothing, nothing works harder than this title. Let me this tell you, this title works hard. This title is carrying our franchise. <laughs> this title, the That's Working smart. Title Cinematic Universe, coming soon to a theater near you. Yeah, wait till they come out with the the full canon lore of Paco. Yeah, the Paco solo film due to be released next year. Yeah, I'm We're all by- very excited. We've <clears throat> been waiting for this for all of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Fock, what's up? To, what's up? What's good, my man? Um, uh, uh, work. Yeah. Work. A lot of work. Uh, we did a lot of work on my girlfriend's grandma's house. We put up a... Put up some nice wallboard, painted it. Did a lot of work on your girlfriend? My girlfriend's grandma. Oh no! Uh, oh. We did a lot of work. I herded my fingy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I, quite uh, nasty. I have boy tied in. Barry pulled up a I picture of his finger. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Jamie. Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull your pants down. Jamie, show me the asshole. Mmm. <laughs> uh, that, that is what Joseph Rogan said. Yeah, and then he fucks him live on camera. Just he, to prove that he's an alpha. Then he he butt chugs <laughs> alpha brain. <laughs> <laughs> he put, yeah, he puts the funnel in it and then he like pours like a whey protein shake down his butt. To, I kinda to wanna, I kinda the wanna, alpha brain. I kinda wanna snort some alpha brain to see what it does to me. <laughs> it's gonna give you a terminal illness. I always feel like if I if I took alpha brain I'd turn into like a fucking orc. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like, become like a like a mongol. I feel like my cranium would grow, <clears throat> and my jaw, would, like my brow, would be really pronounced. And you, like your an, mouth, an overbite. You wouldn't be able, yeah, you wouldn't be able to close your mouth all the way. <laughs> a little bit. I'm just mad and I'm, I'm shredded, <laughs> I'm shredded and angry. <laughs> That's what I imagine. Like, yeah, Joe Rogan made Alpha Brain to revert humanity to Neanderthals. He's like, we're getting too much estrogen. Now I'm going to give you this that takes away all of the estrogen in your body. <laughs> yes. You become a <laughs> testosterone monster. <laughs> you grow you, you you grow by like 50 pounds of muscle within the first month of taking it. And your brain also shrinks. <laughs> <laughs> Your, you, your, your, head, grain, your, your head you, grows, you, but your brain shrinks. Yes, it's all bone and muscle. Ugh. And you get a very pronounced brow. Ugh, I hate that a lot. You you lose the ability to, to close your mouth all the way. You're always drooling. That's, that's pretty awful. Uh, you, yeah. you, you get a forward slouching posture. You're dragging your knuckles along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that's not how I always live my life. That's, that's how my life goes. That's how your dad lives his life. He's the fucking knuckle dragger. <laughs> uh, I drool and then my, my knuckles drag behind and scrape the drool up. See, actually the drool lubricates the ground so that my, it's like my, a snail knuckles, trail. my knuckles don't grind against the concrete. They just slide across. That's not you drag your knuckles across across the concrete and it, it sparks fly up. <laughs> oh no. What are we talking about today guys? What are we even talking about? What happens about? when we come in without a direction? Yeah. <laughs> no, we've had we've had pretty good directionless ones before. I mean, a lot past. of our original ones are just directionless and then gain direction like our first yeah. Spongebob tier list. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah it was, it was literally just like we were talking about plan. Squidward for whatever reason. And so we did the AI generated one, and then we were like, "All right, let's you know what? Let's just talk about SpongeBob." Like you can hear in the episode the turning point where I'm just like, "Let's turn about. Let's talk about SpongeBob." I en- I enjoy SpongeBob. But you know, but okay. Now we're gonna do the the season three tier list. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I don't uh, think that we'd be. Yeah, we don't have enough time. We can't. We gotta we make this one a quickie. We can't talk about them at all. No. We don't talk about any just of the episodes. Just putting the episodes in place and that's it. No if commentary. We don't, if we don't know, it's an F tier. Just because we don't remember it. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's not too good. Can't even look it up. No. Instant F tier. We run off a very strict schedule. Um, we'll, whenever the we'll fuck do, I want. Um, we'll do a commentary on the Spongebob movie, but it's at four times speed. <laughs> we just can't... We don't catch all the jokes. Or yeah, no, jokes. we're just... We only catch visual gags because that's all we can see. We can't, yeah. It's too fast we're for just, us to actually every, do anything. It's very quiet. And every once in a while, we'll just laugh. <laughs> I imagine it to be, like, stupid, like... Bah! <laughs> and then... 
<laughs> Complete <laughs> silence. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a, a squeak of a laugh. <clears throat> but uh, recently, I got a couple things in the mail that I've been waiting for, like uh, like your like your my like alpha your... brain supplements. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, like Joe Rogan brand microdose mushroom. <laughs> Joe Rogan brand. It's it's got his face stamped you got, onto you it. You got Joey Diaz. Cocksucker. You got your cease and desist in the mail. I don't. <laughs> he says I don't work on the weekends. Top Segura. I don't work on Sunday. Top Segura. <laughs> Cocksucker. Cocksucker. <laughs> fuck you. Die. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate you, Top Segura. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the. F- Fuck out of here. You kiss me on your mouth before you do so, but you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You're not gonna die, cocksucker. But you are gonna come. <laughs> you are gonna, <laughs> you're gonna come, cocksucker. Let me tell you that. You're gonna fucking come. Let me tell you something, pal. You got a pre cocksucker. <laughs> but nothing else. I, is going I know on. a pre when I see one, and let me tell you. He looks like a pre lord. A <laughs> pre lord? <laughs> Oh, oh, Christ. Yeah. But like I was saying, I, I got a couple packages in the mail I've been waiting for. Um, I've been thinking about, for a long time, ordering a uh, Mjolnir pendant. Because I think that the Norse gods are fascinating. They are. I, I finally, agree. finally pulled the trigger on it. I even got Miranda a complimenting Loki one. Because she is more of a, a Loki fan than a... Yeah. Than of Thor, so well, I got he's very that. interesting when you get into the actual, you know. Yeah, you know, fucking horses and stuff. It's a lot different than the Marvel cinematic version. I'm pretty sure Loki. there's a there's a story where Loki, he there's this um winter goddess, or she's like a, a frost giant, and the gods kill her parents or her dad for whatever reason, and she's just like, listen, you know, uh, I I want. Uh, I want to be repaid for what yeah. I have lost. Hey, please don't do that. And the and the gods are like, well, you know, um, we're sorry. So what can we do to make it up to you? And she says, you have to make me laugh. And I'm pretty sure what Loki does is he like pulls on a goat's like scrot hair and it <laughs> screams and she laughs at that. <laughs> let me she, let me look up the tail. She does the, <laughs> you know, the joke we were, the the laugh we were just talking about. That's what she did, and then radio silence. Gothy is the yeah. Yeah, I mean, speaking of stuff we got in the mail, I got a restraining order. <laughs> As that's weird. You know, it's from uh, Joe Rogan himself. Yeah, it's from Jehovah. I, I it's don't from know. Jehovah? I don't know what I did. <laughs> um, Jehovah was like, hey, Gothy please stop. Tale. The marriage of New Orleans Scothy? No. Um, where is it? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see. Attestations. The fuck does that mean? Uh ha ha ba ya ha ba. I don't want to look at the origin. All right, these are the uh, these are the stories. Let me find the one with Loki. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't even. Um, <clears throat> I remember we made the. The pod about the Norse stuff. It was very fun. I don't remember how many views we ended up getting on that one. I can't remember either. I used to keep very close track, and now that we have, you know, we're coming up on 20 episodes, it's just a little bit harder to keep track. I still could if I tried, but I have right. to scroll through like a whole page. Alright, here it is. Scothy, um, also included in the terms of the settlement that the gods must do something she thought impossible for them to do. Make her laugh. To do so, Loki tied one end of a cord to the beard of a uh, of a nanny goat, and the other around his testicles. <laughs> the goat and Loki drew one another back and forth, both squealing loudly. Loki dropped <laughs> into Scothy's lap, and Scothy laughed, completing uh, this part of her atonement. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, the Norse were wild. Uh, and of course, you know, you have the tale of uh, Odin turning into like a seagull. Drinking up all the mead, flying away, and some of it leaking out of his ass. I mean, that, you know, happens to the best of us. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> it's the demons. Yeah, yeah. You had to let that one out, huh? 
<clears throat> yeah. Was it Herb Dean? <laughs> this is the Herb Demons. <laughs> no way! That's whenever you smoke too much weed. You get the Herb Demons. The Herb Demons? <laughs> uh, you never see that in Supernatural, do you? I didn't see anything in Supernatural. Yeah, I, I've seen like I an episode. Watch, I didn't watch Supernatural. I think that's something Lexi likes. Yeah, that sounds like I, a Lexi I, thing. I think so. She likes all the things with the, with the twinks that she thinks are cute. Anytime there's a, a, a she a, thinks so. Any, anytime there's a skinny dude with long hair, I mean, she's pretty much in. Yeah, but then there's he also has a hunky brother in the show. I don't know with with an epic beard. I couldn't. I wasn't even saying it as a guarantee that there was a long hair. I don't think that he's. A, I don't think he's a twink. I'm but just he assuming is. that there is because she watches it, and that's pretty much the only drawing factor for anything she enjoys. Let me show you the um the real gem of the supernatural crew. Look at this guy. The Crystal Gems? The Crystal Gems. Yeah, it's the Crystal Gem. That's uh, Steven Universe. God, he makes me wet. Steven Universe? No. <laughs> that's what you're showing me. You're showing me I'm Steven not. Universe. I'm showing you Jensen Ackles of Supernatural that, and The Boys. No, you're showing me Steven Universe. Look at Universe. this guy. He's, uh, he's alright. He's not... You gotta be on one side or the other in my eyes. Either you're kind of a girl, or you can suplex me through a wall. He looks <laughs> as though he can do neither. So, I'm not interested. Unbelievable. Guys like Jason Momoa that could put me through the floor. That's a whole other story. <laughs> you like those you like those dudes because you you don't want to physically confront them. <laughs> what do you You're mean? like, listen, I have to appease you somehow. <laughs> no, I, I I'm, you I'm talk all, your way with your hips. I'm <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm always in control if I wanna be. There's very few situations where I feel like I'm not in control because I can gain control. Um, yeah, you're gonna gain that, control with your hips. In that sense, I don't think I'll have control. You know, it's like those uh, those CEOs that like going to the BDSM dungeons and stuff. It's like those CEOs who like to go to a certain island. They feel nothing. <laughs> that... <laughs> uh, yeah, you shall right. not be named. Tom um, Hanks Island. Tom. <laughs> oh no! Don't remind Mini me. Mini Lad Island. Mini Lad. There you go. <laughs> That's the ticket. Uh, Who else is a groomer online? Who else is just an absolute scumbag piece of shit motherfucker? <laughs> scumbag piece of shit motherfucker? Oh, I guess the opposite of that. Opposite of yeah. a mother, a daughter fucker, if you will. I guess every dude that has sex with a girl is technically. Well, listen. We'll a say fucker. I mean, we'll say. Never mind. I don't want to put any more adjectives on that term. What? I was gonna say I was gonna say s small. No, <laughs> no. This is you brought this upon yourself. No, I didn't. Yeah, you said what? I said. You said <laughs> what? What adjectives? What adjectives? Did you? Yeah, that's, you opened the door for me to tell you. Was, well, you could have said it off off air, you know, off record instead of saying. Uh, yeah, off the rack. Instead of saying, oh yeah, off the chain. I, I like, you know, whatever you said. Off the brain. About, where, you, where you talked about liking. You know, serving alpha brain to children to see if it makes them manly enough for your <laughs> Imagine you have, like, a... Do you think that... There has to be someone out there who watches Joe Rogan, orders alpha brain, and puts it in their kid's food. You know what I'd do? What? I'd like to, like, get have a son, and he just lives in the weight room, and then I, I feed him... Throws kettlebells. All, all he can do is drink water and alpha brain and eat elk. And I raise him like that my whole his whole life. And he's eventually he's going to be stronger than you. And he's yeah. going to break out and he's going to kill you. And that's okay. And he will have earned that. My son, if he can kill me, <laughs> then he can kill me. He beats his chest and screams like an ape that's and how, that's, breaks loose on that's the streets. That's how he becomes the man of the household. You just show him the Joe Rogan experience. Well, at, he just listens to the Joe Rogan keep podcast. keep him in the weight like, room. Ima imagine he's like a, he's like a three-year-old infant. And, and you screaming at him because well, he's not he's not doing what he's been told. No, I mean what he'll do then is what I'll if they're when he's little and he's learning to learn how to walk, I'll tape kettlebells to his hands like <laughs> not super heavy ones, but that way whenever he walks, you'll, you'll he's used like, to walking with weight. You, yeah, you, you'll you'll put weights. like weighted clothes on him, yeah. like Goku. And he'll walk around his whole life like that until he gets older, and I put him in normal clothes, and he's like, oh my god, it's like what the fuck? It feels like I'm naked. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> because he's powerful. I want my son to be powerful. Same with my daughter. So you're, if I had a daughter, I wanted to be uh, feed her fucking. alpha brain. Yeah, I, <laughs> I stuff her with alpha she, brain. She, she needs to have like chin hair, bro. <laughs> 
My daughter doesn't have children. She didn't hear by 13. My daughter better be hairier than me. <laughs> she be- I better I better see it like on her forearms, on her shins, honestly, everywhere. Like, collarbone, like yeah. You what you got? You gotta. You, it's like how the Italian dudes they got like the uh, the little curly chest hairs poking yeah, out. That's I gotta I- see that on my on my daughter, oh. my adolescent daughter. She needs to be an ape. <laughs> 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 the best way to start this is to is to crossbreed Joe Rogan and Chris Cyborg. <laughs> That's a good start. Chris Cyborg is arguably not even female. Um, uh, considering the Adam's apple and the giant bicep, <laughs> it's really hard to. But uh, yeah, I I, I imagine know. she speaks in very simple sentences. She just speaks Brazilian. I'm th- I think I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Do you find them a simple people? <laughs> yes. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Do you, I mean, Chael Sonnen already did a great job on hating on all of Brazil. Oh my god. <laughs> he got a title shot doing that. He talks so much shit about Anderson Silva, who can't speak English, so he's talking shit to someone that can't reply. And then Anderson and then Silva he, goes, ah, I'm a, ah, I'm a. Anderson Silva was Yeah, because they, they speak disabled. Portuguese. They speak <laughs> Portuguese, and Portuguese is a language of Neanderthals. <laughs> you sound like Chael Sonnen. <laughs> He's like, you live in that trash country with all the garbage and also all the trash on the floor. And then Anderson Silver, <laughs> uh, Anderson Silver, he says, I am sorry you feel that way, sir. <laughs> well, then the, the funny thing is... Repent! The first fight, Chael Sonnen beat the fuck out of Anderson Silva for a while and then got caught in a triangle choke. <laughs> so it was pretty... Uh, he talked his way into a... I think he talked himself into a rematch with that and then he just got fucked. Like, it wasn't even... Got bottomized. He he got he was the bottom. <laughs> just happens to the best of them. Yep. Happened to me all the time. Do you think um? What would you do if you like met someone, and and then you become their friend, right? Sure. And you know them for years. They're like Jesse levels of affinity. Yeah. Like, they're, and then they're, they're like, "Listen, I have something I need to tell you." And they pull down their pants, and you see that their their penis is like spiked and barbed. And they're like, I, I, I just had to let you know that my my willy is is built wrong. Why would he? Why, <laughs> why would they show me that? Because he wants to take it to the next step, as you what? do with all the homies. So your best way of getting to the next base with me is to show me. You your know, he's like, he's like, listen, penis. before before we do anything that you're gonna regret. What is that? <laughs> So you're telling me, when well you say like it's Jesse level, you think me and Jesse have sex? Of course. <laughs> no, he said it in such black and white terms. I thought you were going to say something else. But you're just... <laughs> Are you telling me that you think me and Jesse penetrate each other? Because I don't, I don't think, I don't think dude, that's true. Dude, listen. If you're a man watching, you know for a fact you have fucked at least one of your friends in the see, past. See, you did hold him down and tickle him at one point. Yeah. Was I 18 then? Am I going to jail? <laughs> I actually think so. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, he had... He, I, I had his consent. Wait. You held Jesse down. He was crying. I, you did it too. You were there. But I was also a minor. Yeah. I was. I'm his age. I wasn't sexual. We, we were both fifteen. I'm I wasn't. Allowed, I wasn't sexual. I'm allowed to bully my friends. It's just. Yeah, like, he's my friend too. It's just assault. <laughs> it's it's not assault. assault of a minor. Stop. <laughs> Very different. For me. God damn it. It's just uh like harassment. For you, it's a whole other. It's a jail thing. sentence. Yeah. For me, it's just like, hey, stop bullying. Listen, myself. we can. Jesse didn't. Press charges, so... Yet. I think it's... <laughs> it's gonna be waiting! And now, he's, he's just like, uh, Rusty, I've been waiting for this moment for years. And now it's public. Now it's public. Now, now that it's public, he's gonna get his... He's gonna his get five his, seconds of fame. Yeah, he's gonna sue me for all I'm worth. All <laughs> $300. It's like, a whole bunch, really. <laughs> <laughs> all, all $2 and a load of belly button lint. <laughs> <laughs> all of your Piece assets, of chewed gum. All of your assets, and that includes, uh... You think back in the day when, like, women were considered property, like... Oh, if for sure, for yeah. Assets, like, I'm just, I'm taking your wife. I thought, like, the, I thought I was gonna bring that up anyways. I thought, I thought that that's where you were going with that. He was gonna sue me for my girlfriend. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> He's just like, he... I'm taking her. And she's like, what? <laughs> You're like, yep, sorry, man. <laughs> 
I don't make the rules. He has two. I just exploit them. <laughs> he has two. He has two arguably unstable girlfriends. They're not all that different, really. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're really not. So listen, I mean, get obviously given the choice any day, I would rather hang out with with Miranda. Yeah, sure. I I, I can tolerate her a lot better. <laughs> No, no shade, no ill will. Th- I'll make thrown. sure to share this with with she who shall not be named. Yeah, um, I don't want to dox her on the podcast. Uh, I, might I could, I could drop, name. drop her first I, name, last name if I wanted. I could drop her first, middle, last nickname and address right now. Yeah, I could drop her dad's first, yeah, middle, dude. last. <laughs> yeah, her dude. brother's you, first, middle, and last. That's because you've been with them. She's you my know. She, she's my fourth favorite of her family line. My fourth favorite in that house. <laughs> It's the bottom one. After, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, there's lower. It's right after her dad, then her brother, and then her cat. And then it's her. All right. I don't really know her mother that well. But she's okay. So she's bottom tier. She's Gucci. No, tier. actually, I think That's the dog would be. All right. But uh, I know that her father, who has uh, showed me his brisket many times, uh, he is something worth a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, I take the actually honestly if he showed me his barbed penis. <laughs> I'd be that. Yeah, it's him. He shows you it. Yeah. He, he says, "Paco, I know that we have a, a vast age difference between us, but, but we but both like Primus." And I showed you my brisket. <laughs> I showed you my brisket and played the banjo for you. So uh, we've been we've 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 hung out many a time. And technically, you're an adult now. So. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He he's been waiting. He's been grueling me. <laughs> You know what's really fucked up? You know what I think is fucked up? Whenever, whenever like a grown adult says like a, to someone that the the child looks like they're gonna grow up to be like a a stunning adult. I've I've like, heard like I've visually. heard people say, man, when your daughter's gonna be really pretty when she grows up. And he's That's like, really weird. Well, That's, there, I, if you say things. that to me, I'm punching you in the face. The thing is, like, say it's like your friend's little sister. I've been like. Oh, she's adorable. Like, that's one thing. Yeah, that's one that, thing. Or uh, like, oh, I, can, I can see she's going to grow up to be a lot like her mom, I mean, if you know I mean, what I mean. I've even said, like, like I'm, I've said it not in, like, a direct way, but more like, like, I'm glad she got blank parents looks. Oh, because, yeah. Because like, I, well, it's not like I'm saying, oh, that kid, oh, but, like, the, yeah, other, like, the other parent, oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like, thank God thank that this child looks fuck. like the mom and not the dad. I the dad looks like a troglodyte. There is one of those situations, I, I know. Uh, and I was like, oh, thank God she looks like her mom, because that would be a real mess if she looked like her Are dad. you talking about, um... I think I know who you're talking about. Someone related to someone I'm very close to. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. And in that situation, and you, like, you would look fuck. after the said child, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, all I'm, right. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, thank, I know who you're talking about. Thank God, because that could be because a Because, yeah, the, <laughs> you've described the father as being, like, <laughs> like small and hairy and gross. <laughs> God wouldn't have I, yeah, I, am, I imagine, like, an inbred wolverine. <laughs> I think the house is on fire. It's about time. Do you hear the alarm going up? Yeah. Mom's down there. Not anymore. Oh. Now she's, not, now she's she turned a puddle it off. on the floor. <laughs> she melted. <laughs> Just like Squidward. Oh, <laughs> Squidward, you're choking. <laughs> Isaac did like a Mario butt stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the one hypothetical Jesse gave us? He uh, was a lot of those. He was things. like... He was like, uh, Rusty, what would you do if, um, if, if Isaac kept doing the default dance, but he just kept getting bigger every time? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he just kept getting bigger. <laughs> it becomes like a kaiju-sized monster, and he's just doing the default dance, shaking the earth with every step. I remember that. There's one friend. I'm, I'm going to try to stop uh, naming people that... Haven't re- well, not all people, but like people, I'm not sure if they'd want. Yeah, to, yeah, for sure. I, I know what you mean. Like with Jesse, it's one thing because uh-huh. we could potentially have him on. He already doesn't care. Same with like Sebastian, who has been on and, like, and will never be on again. Yeah, we had to barred yeah, from yeah. entry. But uh, we did. We and like you know, aside from like family and girlfriends and stuff, people that uh, my, the opinions don't matter to me. Uh, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Um, but one of our friends. Uh, more of Jesse's friend came over pretty often. He always ask you. Uh, I don't even have to describe him anymore. How many five year olds? Yeah, how many five year olds you think you could hold down? Oh yeah. <laughs> he's like, I bet like twelve. Like, he, uh, like, yeah, he would. He would put like a number to it. He's like he, was, he was eager. 
He would, he would like, he would uh, flaunt my ability to, to be a big man. I don't, I don't, were you there and that was his means. Were you there whenever we, like, picked him up and took his shoes? Oh, and yeah. And ran away at the park? Uh-huh. Yeah. I was there. Jesse ran, like, all the way down the park with yeah, his he shoes. he ran away. He, like, went to McDonald's. <laughs> that was hilarious. I was there. Yeah, I, we, I, I truly we missed... accosted him, and then Sebastian said, take his shoes. I truly missed those days. And the shoes were gone. <laughs> I haven't been to the park in a while. Like, I mean, I just, I've been... Uh, just a busy bee. I haven't really had time to go to the park. Me neither, man. Dude, yeah, I was but... thinking sometime it might be cool to record an episode in the park. Like, do it uh, like at night or something. Like, we could just uh, put the stuff in a backpack, walk there, set up. Wait, for what? For the podcast. At the park? Yeah. That'd be fun, yeah. Sure. We'll have to, we'll have to uh, set up a date. I think we should start Candle shooting fun vi- uh, videos. Instead of t- making two podcasts a week, maybe trying to make like a funny video and a podcast a week or something. Yeah, that might be fun. I think that'd be. Uh, I think <clears throat> I'm broke. <laughs> you never find out who won. The cinem- oh, unable to process your request at this moment. I have your request anything. to win. A request to go to the menu after the match is over. That should happen anyways. <laughs> Fuck! I don't want fight stats, but uh. Like I think it'll be really, I think it'd be really fun and a real experiment to try to make funny little videos, funny little skits. You have friends on and stuff. I think there'd be a lot of fun there. I have to find someone to edit this stuff because we could probably find an editor. We couldn't pay them anything. No. Um, <laughs> Just like please. <laughs> yeah, we have it. Have to be a friend. I don't have any. <laughs> I could probably con Alan into doing it. You probably just beat him into submission. Yeah, like as I do. That's what I. He's would just do. a little twig boy, after all. He's really cute, though. I mean, like, you know. Yeah, we were just talking about him and how uh, his world famous kisses. My feelings for him. <laughs> yeah, your your deep, intense feelings for him. I mean, I really can't hide them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is the episode where Parker comes out as gay. No, I just like Alan. <clears throat> yeah, it's just him. I got a raise no today. Other. I got a thirty cent, thirty cent per hour raise. Yeah, I've only gotten one raise the entire time I've been at my me job. Me too. The fir- when I first started, they ended up taking two dollars away from me an hour just for coming oh, yeah. on full time. Oh yeah. But then they gave me That's thirty dumb. cents. Like I'm supposed to be happy about that. <laughs> Thanks. They, I did find out recently that someone that's been working there for four years gets paid actually two dollars an hour less than me. Whoa. He has what like a much fuck? bigger job. They just don't pay him basically. <laughs> that's fucked up. But yeah, there are dudes um, who work at my shop who pay literally, who, who get paid almost uh, like $10 more than me per hour. And that's insane. Lexi's on the break of a really big raise potentially soon. Oh, that's cool. And it's not even like a couple bucks per hour raise. It's like closer to, <laughs> to 10 bucks an hour. Oh my god. Like it's a possibility. It's uh, not a guarantee. How? Tell me that. Um, basically. Just through diligence? Of, uh, it's like. Right now, she's part, she's like a third member in a crew, or she goes around wherever someone's missing in a crew, because like, install for HVAC, there's usually two guys, and uh, you can add a third if it's a bigger job, or just send one if it's a smaller job, or you know, whatever, and most of the time, it's these two guys go out every day, and they work together, and she's been kind of like, she fills in for a group, or you know, whatever, and it's usually one lead who knows how to do sheet metal, essentially, is the big draw. Like, they will drive the box truck, and they do the sheet metal. <clears throat> and then they have the uh, the other guy, and he's just pretty much as good, just isn't a lead. And there's potential for her to become part of a full-time, like, crew, and maybe become a lead since she can do sheet metal. That's and sick. being the lead of a crew would, would be uh, quite the raise there. And that'd be pretty cool. I'd be very proud of her. <clears throat> she make a lot fucking more than me. See, I think if she makes that much money, I'm gonna stop working and just start fighting. There you go. She can be the breadwinner. You'll be the stay-at-home dad. Be the stay-at-home dad with uh, with no teeth and two black eyes. <laughs> stay-at-home dad. By that, of course, I mean of your rodents. Yeah, to Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Stewart and her cat Lovely. Mm-hmm. There you uh, go. I love that cat, dude. That she, that cat goes meow, meow. Meow! It's all day. It's constant. Every time she sees you, if you go to the bathroom, she claws at the door and she goes, Meow! Meow! This lady does that. 
if I, if I if I don't pay her attention or if she goes, sometimes I'll be in the same, like I'll be in the basement, right? I'll be sitting on the recliner. And she, the spicy lady will be back towards like the, the washer and dryer, mm-hmm. and she'll just scream, and I'll have to remind her where I'm at. Uh, hello, spicy. I'm right here, you little bingus. Then you beat her. Yeah. You ever put a cat in the dryer? So that's what I do for uh, to punish her. <laughs> you put her in the dryer? Just for a couple seconds. Just turn it on and let her tumble Damn. a bit. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's fuck. You learned your fucking lesson. You learned your fucking lesson. I actually do know someone that... Actually, like, they didn't purposely, but um, sometimes they'd put their stuff in the dryer and then get distracted and walk away. And like since they... Like usually they'd previously had done the load so it's warm. And now there's a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of warm clothes sitting in there, and the cat will hop in to just cuddle up on the warmness, and then they'll just walk back up, shut the door, and turn on the dryer, <laughs> and then the cat will just... You're like, oh I think god! You told me about this too. Yeah, came out real fluffy. Came out. Pretty cute. Uh, it came out on fire. It came. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, is that how you uh, really feel? I had a stretch. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, like, doing a wheezing laugh at <coughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? I was yawning. <laughs> Stop being so loud. Stop being so loud. Yeah, we're quiet here. This is, um... Silent working title. We're, this is working title. This is quiet time yeah. with working title. This is silent title. So- the title is silent. That's not silent. I said it's silent title. <laughs> You're going. <"Ugh." laughs> <It's not laughs> I wasn't saying that That's how at you all. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking mouth breather. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shaking, <laughs> shivering, just uh, absolutely <sighs> surrounded by trauma and angst. Bobby Knuckles, dude. Agony incarnate. Bobby Knuckles. Who is I Voltex? Why do I? T- I don't care about their story. Not interested. You ever see like some bad bitches, and you're like, oh, I wish I wasn't taken uh, right now. Uh, delicious. Yeah, I often look at women and say, God, I just want to hold that down and... Whoa! <laughs> Steamy. Steamy. It's like, it's like the plankton. It's like plank. I'm about to give you some Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm about to do something to you that you won't remember until your 20s. Oh, uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Wait, what? You're already uh, You there. won't remember... Yeah, me. I thought you were talking to a hypothetical person. No, I'm saying you're already 20. Because if you were... Hypothetically, that's pretty funny. Hi- hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcastically, I'm in charge. What? Have you seen that? That's from, uh, that's from Black Dynamite. I don't, I don't watch Black Look Dynamite. Look at that, though. I mean, I'd put... A lot of things in there. I'd poked. I'd put a lot of things in there. I don't know what, but a lot of things. Uh, probably my dick and balls, to name <laughs> four things. Both? Yeah. Four. Dog in a bathtub. Four? Yeah. Four? One, two, and three. And then four. There's four. Four balls. But then, then there'll be five. Nuh-uh. You your, dick, your dick counts dick. as a ball. You, my, what? <laughs> Excuse me? You know, you've seen I it before. I got no love for the city. <laughs> I got no love for the city. You hacky sack. <laughs> you skateboard. <laughs> There's just one for me. <laughs> we need to. We need a wacky zany character to accost us at our most vulnerable moments. You know, we need a. We need Super Mega on the podcast. Yeah. I'll contact Matt and Ryan and yeah, see, just get see a, how down they just are. Just get a home with the homie Matthew and we can, yeah. Yeah, Matthew Watson. Get a hold of Rai Rai. We're, we're on a nickname. Rai Rai? Mm. God, I just... <clears throat> I'd put things in that, too. 
Once again, not sure what. Just put food in that. Inanimate I'd, I'd watch him eat. You know, I think that <clears> that would be pretty cool. I'd make him eat. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Just he like wouldn't the, have any say in it, really. It's like that Thanksgiving dinner they made. They with threw Finn it. Wolfhard. They they uh they drugged him. It was really fucked up. I can't believe they put that on film. You know, Ari Shafir did drug Burt Kreischer. Yes, I do know that. That's like fucked up. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> his family for, hates For those Ari. of you who don't know, his family uh, hates Ari, Ari. Ari Shafir uh, put ecstasy uh, <clears throat> in one of Burt Kreischer's drinks, and and he got like really fucked up off of it, as you do with yeah, ecstasy. That's when Joey Diaz showed up and said, "You're not gonna die, cocks. <laughs> You're not gonna die." Burt Kreischer, and he kissed him on the mouth. And he pulled his pants down. He says, listen here, Burt Kreischer, I'm going to be here for you through thick and thin. He holds his hand, looks into his eyes. But there ain't going to be nothing thin about this. <laughs> and then Slow Ride by a fog hat plays. What? He, he, he dog in a bathtub is Burt Kreischer. I, I hate that term. <laughs> That term upsets me a lot in itself, <laughs> let alone the image that it brings. Uh-uh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the bathtub. No, you're just That's wrong. That's so gross. The aliens are sus. You ever dog in a bathtub? From anybody Epic resting? Nate 315 on YouTube. It, Epic Nate seems like a fucking dog, dude. <laughs> I let him dog in a bathtub me. I let him y- dog yeah, me. Yeah, have you ever done that to anyone, Rusty? A dog in a bathtub? Yeah. Uh, like, I'm not at liberty to discuss it here, but I will say, in the past, I I have done it to maybe uh, two or three other people in my time. Two or three other people? Yes. Whose bathtubs it, have your dog been in, dude? You know, that's at liberty for me to, to keep to myself. Well, I guess uh, there is this guy in that you, you had another podcast with. Yeah, uh, back in Yugoslavia. <clears throat> yeah, I was on there. I, I had I had a restraining order. I can't go near him anymore. I like rain frogs a lot. Look at these guys. <sighs> Did you dock in a bathtub him? No! Hell no. Why not? Look at him. Exactly, look at him. I mean... They do got, like, silly little butts, though. But not... <laughs> not in a hot way. In a, in a funny little man way. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you have to describe the animal as not hot. It sounds like you're trying to convince yourself more than anyone. Anyway. No, look at them. They look like little pin cushions. Like it's not hot. It's not hot. Uh, they got they got <laughs> funny little buns. It's like like in Adventure Time, whenever a character has like just a butt that sticks out. Do you think any Adventure Time characters are hot? You know, I will say... Uh, Marceline, back in the day, was a favorite of mine. That's one of the uh, characters that actually set my uh, views on people. Yeah, goth, goth baddie. Mm-hmm. Marceline, too bad, again, she is a lesbian. Um, we so actually that, have a friend. never would have worked we out. We actually have a friend that has quite the issue with... Um, lesbians. Lesbians, yeah. Not that he doesn't agree with them, but... <laughs> he just keeps running into them. He comes upon them. too many of them. <laughs> yep. Um, We're not going to discuss that either. <laughs> I was gonna say the thing. What? Uh, first name, last name. Um, we did it in Quiplash once, I think. <laughs> you can't do that. No, I was. Uh, not here, not now. Not here, not now. Not after but, you the know, incident. Not. <laughs> yeah, the incident. He decided he was being, tired of waiting. The incident being coming out of the closet. No, he, he decided he was tired of this. Tired of this? Yeah, he said it's gonna happen. So I'm fed up with this world. No, he's like, it's gonna happen. He, he looks at us dead serious. It's gonna happen. What? <laughs> what do you sure. mean? <laughs> what are you talking like, about? I'll make fucking sure of it. It's gonna happen. We're like, uh-huh. <laughs> he says, don't be surprised if she's missing in a few days. No. <laughs> <laughs> this awful arc that we've created by this uh, guy. This uh, fella? This uh, nice fella. Who's definitely not... Nice guy. This guy... What? This guy who was certainly not... Someone uh, real. He doesn't have any charges to his name. uh, Yeah. All are pending. uh. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. Uh, You know, I'm not going to even... I I was going to... Say his address and social security number. His father's name. (laughs) 
I like his dad more, uh, honestly. My personal opinions on his uh, political standings. Even maybe even flash a picture of his penis up on screen. I will say it, he does not believe in global warming. We'll leave it at that. I wonder if he does. He doesn't. I've talked to him about it. The dad? No. <clears throat> he doesn't. No, not not the dad. Um, I know, the, not the titular sh- man. I'm more shocked now. <laughs> I'd assume his dad doesn't. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if his dad does, but I know he doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel that warm to me. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> it doesn't feel that warm to me. <laughs> it's hot as shit <laughs> outside, dude. It's his logic. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, makes sense to me. It's my logic. <laughs> it's not global warming. <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple people who don't believe in global warming. Uh, ignorance. I don't know. It's pretty cold to me. Pretty cold to me. All I'm saying is when I go outside, my bones hurt. <laughs> All I'm saying is whenever I go outside, I breathe in, and it hurts to breathe. Right, I go outside, I breathe in, and it smells like hair uh, hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that might be actually a symptom of global warming. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that these two things are correlated <clears throat> somehow. They're coming out with a, a new refrigerant that's going to be required to use. Uh, they're phasing out 410A just as they did R- R22. But what they're going to... It's a flammable... Te- it's technically flammable. Not near as flammable as anything like propane. But it's more flammable. And I think that means the global warming potential... I think ozone depletion potential is lower. And um, global warming potential is lower. <clears throat> but like in order to achieve those, oftentimes you have to either make it toxic, which can be dangerous if the system has a, a, a leak uh, you just fucking gas the homeowner or uh, that's fun. flammable which means if you um, <clears throat> if you vacuum everything out you take all the line sets down and the compressor is still holding refrigerant and then you start to braze on something uh, you could start essentially an explosion but uh, <clears throat> it's better to blow up one family than to uh, melt ice caps you know so <laughs> Makes sense to me. Listen, you know, I'm just saying. Like I said, it's cold outside. I don't think anything's <laughs> warming. Even though it actually it, it is warmer this week than it was last week, it's still cold. I'm not saying it's not cold. It's cold. It's it's cold. It's fucking cold. It's global cooling, dude. It's fucking cold as shit. It's just nature. It just does that. It happens all the time. <laughs> It's happened already! We need to change nature's refrigerant. Who dares? <sighs> Dr. Stone? More like Dr. Bone. You know, I actually know someone named Dr. Balloon. Are you shitting <clears throat> me here? Is that real? Someone, uh, so I have some insider information that someone's dentist is named Dr. Balloon. Uh, are you gaslighting me right now? I'm not. You, you, that same person also has another medical professional they go to with the name Dr. Girdlestone. Girdlestone? Yes. Can you hint to me who this person is if you don't feel comfortable revealing their name? Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> no! Yeah. No way! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know those names Dr. are... Dr. Balloon? Right. I don't know if it's that yeah, particular he, he person, comes... but it's it's within that family uh, lineage that, that those uh, medical professionals are what? Pre- present. What? Yeah, yeah. he comes home. You, can't, you go. You see him, and he, he likes says, to be inflated. He says, uh, "Oh, I guess Scott, that's why he's so big. <laughs> he gets air pumped into him." But Doctor Balloon, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Balloon sounds kind of like he'd be a a murderer. Like yeah, Doctor Balloon sounds like a let's, sounds like a fifties Batman villain. He's like like Doctor like, Balloon commits <laughs> heists using hot air balloons. I imagine like a Pogo the Clown. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Doctor Balloon's like. Uh, Dr. Balloon's here, and he's like, yeah. Honk, honk. <laughs> Who's Who's fucking model? Who's empty? Who's ready to be filled up? I, who's empty? I can change that. I can change that, let me tell you. <laughs> the big man! <laughs> the big man! The voice! The voice of the people! That's too bad. That's a Batman villain right there. <laughs> the big man? He gets high on quaaludes. <laughs> It's like instead of instead of uh, Joker gas, he just drugs <laughs> he everyone. People. He gives everyone quaaludes, and they're all like tripping. Fu- they're, tripping oh! <laughs> they're either asleep or crazy. Instead of the Joker laugh, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you I had, to, I had to tell one of my coworkers what quaaludes is? What um, quaaludes were rather? Quaaludes is. 
Well, yeah, I, yeah they don't exist anymore. Uh, as far as we know. Um, you know who else doesn't exist? Who's that? Global Warming. Oh. The guy. <laughs> First name Global, <laughs> last name Warming. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cold out. In a certain... Uh, the father... <clears throat> the father... The, the Holy Father. Who art in heaven? Hollow be thy name? I swear I'm concussed. <laughs> like, legit, I'm not intending for that. <laughs> Am I, I have complete thoughts. And because they don't you lost out. that chunk of your finger. <laughs> I have That's complete, where your brain was. I have complete thoughts, and they don't come out as such. <laughs> they come out uh, a Deplete lot shittier thoughts, than that. my ass. Depleted thoughts. Yeah, th that's what you got. My thoughts are all autocomplete. So you got charging up in your auto brain hole. Autocomplete thoughts. Yeah. So you, you start <clears throat> thinking one thing, and then it's just your brain spirals. It tries to figure out what else what the rest of it was. <laughs> did you mean... <laughs> Actually, in sparring, I did catch an accidental knee to the, uh, to the chin. I did catch an accidental knee to the temple. Um, yeah, actually, kind my, of, one of my I eyes is just elbow. permanently dilated now. I, I, think, I think I might have an issue. I got a kick to the head, and my <laughs> eye started flashing, <laughs> and then I lost the eye. It's kind of crazy when he tells that story. He's like, he's like, I was sad because I lost, but then all of a sudden I was sitting in my in like the locker room, and I saw this big flash, and I was like, guys, what was that? And they're like, what? And all of a sudden I couldn't see, <laughs> and it flashed <laughs> again. I'm like, what the fuck? You know how scary that would be. All of a sudden, you started seeing flashes of light. That's God. <laughs> but he didn't lose his eye. He fucking died. That was the end of Michael Bisping. <laughs> knock, knock. Hey, it's me. I'm God. The fuck's up, Mike? It's time for you to come with me. Unless you want to surrender your eye, perchance. <laughs> if you're willing to trade your eye and for your life. Goes, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd rather be alive. And then he went on to win a championship, beating George... Uh, I, I don't remember, actually. He, he has a glass eye, but and he, to get it out, he cl closes his mouth, plugs his nose, and uh, pushes real hard. And he actually won a championship with one eye. It's pretty wild. After he lost that eye, he still went on to win a championship. He lied through all of his exams. <laughs> They what? gave him. They gave him a test, and it said, "Do you have two eyes?" <laughs> he said, "Yes." He said, "Yes." <laughs> and they were like, like, "Cool." They're like, "Are you sure?" But and he says, "Uh, I think so." He's frustrated because they're about to let this uh, guy into the UFC, who who like notably he has one eye. Uh huh. Uh, and Michael's like, "I had to lie through it's all like of the, the dude tests who has no to legs. get there, and then now you're just gonna let this dude in? Why couldn't I just get in? Why did I have to do tests?" The dude who has no legs is really scary to me. It's like a like a crawler. The UFC guy that you were showing me. I feel like he would just climb on me well, and like, not, throw me to the ground. He's not in the UFC. Oh, uh, MMA. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Also, um... What? It's kind of like fighting Geodude. If Geodude could not levitate. If Geodude was stuck on the ground. <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> he puts out his arms and he rolls at you. <laughs> Who's the kid? <laughs> he tucks his head. His arms his head. <laughs> you, you, you fly away like a bowling pin. <laughs> he does like a sonic spin dash. You can imagine if someone like they're really leg kick heavy and like, what the fuck do I do to this guy? Just kick him in the arms? You catch, you catch him by the head and he flies across the octagon. You know, admit it. He goes to shoot a takedown and you pick him up by <laughs> under his armpits like a child. <laughs> Throw him over your head and like you, a fucking ape. toss him out of the octagon. <laughs> yeah, imagine you kick him. You, what you, weight class is he in? Mine is legs. You have to be a lot lighter. Right? He would be have, fighting dudes unless, that unless weigh as like, much of his, as his upper body weighs. Unless he's like, oh my god. <laughs> He gets, like, Joe Swanson yoked, and he's still, he's like... He's huge. I mean, he's very muscular. I just don't think that he... Do you think he walks around on his arms? He has to be, arms? like, 80 pounds or something. Like, <laughs> he's, he, he, legs are heavy. He's yeah. missing all of that. Yeah. I don't think he has a butt. I think oh, it ends under the ribs. How do you pee if you don't I have, like... I think he leaks. Probably has a cork up there that he... Oh, uh, stop! Maybe he has a dick hanging off the bottom of his body. <laughs> I don't know what his anatomy is like. I've never seen him naked. Don't make me laugh at that. I've never seen him naked. I don't know. I don't know why you're laughing at him. 
He's just, he's just a guy born with natural disabilities trying to achieve his dream, and you're making fun of him. I'm not. I'm you're just. Thinking, I'm just. I'm thinking of the visual of what that would look like. Just a dick with no legs. That's just all he's got down there. Do, do would he have butt cheeks though? I don't think he does. That's so sad. <laughs> Why is it sad? <laughs> he doesn't have anything to rest on. He just sits on his hip bones. <laughs> that sounds pretty shitty. This is a permanent slouch. I mean, I guess you don't really have to worry about posture if you Strongest. don't have legs. Yeah, no one's gonna like, fix your posture. He's like, I don't have a lower half. Yeah, the teacher comes up and hits him with a ruler, and he's like, ah! Stop! That's why, that's why he got into MMA. So he could fuck up that teacher. I think he would swing around me, though. I think that that's a real fear I would have. He'd, like, grab me by, like, the... Grab me by the shorts and... Like, swing up onto my shoulders and pound on my head. <laughs> he's sitting, like, on the back of your neck, and he's just bonking me. <laughs> Stop! Stop! And I rip him off, and I throw him against the uh, the side he of the octagon, and he skin. grabs on. He grabs your skin. Like, he just grabs it... the skin. <laughs> You say that, I think, I think of that orangutan video. It's the dude at the gym. Or the, the dude at the, uh, the zoo. The gym? Yeah, the... <laughs> <laughs> she was up to start, start kettlebells. But no, he's it's the dude at the the dude in like Singapore who goes to the zoo and he goes right up to the, the orangutan and grabs him by the shirt. Yeah. That's how it should be, really. If I was an orangutan, I'd fuck people up. Oh for sure. Yeah. For sure. I think orangutans, like, relative to their body mass, have the highest strength of the primates. What do you think I the like, hottest monkey is? The hottest? Yeah. I'm trying to think. They all look pretty gross. They got, like, big weird nips. <laughs> Have you seen, like... No, I don't, I, I've I don't, seen, I don't like I've, an ape. No, I've ape seen my... I've, I've seen my... my uh, nipples aren't for sex. They're for, they're for, the, they're for after. That's okay. That's still a sex organ. <laughs> okay. But there's, um... That, like, uh... There's some, like, apes out there with really silly-looking nips, bro. Okay. It's not for me. It's. I think it is. I think what you're. <laughs> I think what you're revealing right now is that you like look at monkey nips. No. Yeah. Listen, if you're a monkey, it's all right there for. It's all on display. There's nothing held back. You could put some clothes on a monkey. I like it better whenever monkeys have clothes I want, on. I want like a gorilla to wear some clothes. Can we have a gorilla in a suit and tie, please? Uh, that would be the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, we already have Brock Lesnar. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> You know what's insane to me? Like, Brock Lesnar would get ripped in half by a gorilla. Oh, yeah. Easily. That's, that's, that's... And the thing is, Bro Brock Lesnar would rip most people in half. Yeah. So, we're going to have to end the pod soon. It's getting towards my... What the fuck did I do? You activated the D's Nuts channel. That's the direct TV app. Dude. Dude, stop. <laughs> Who's that? Legally Blonde. That's Reese Witherspoon. I'm about to make her legally blind. <laughs> I'm about to make her legally dead. <laughs> I'm about to seesaw brain activity on that bitch. Bro, can you imagine if she didn't have a brain? The the unimaginable things I would do to her? What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for coming out to Working yeah, Title. Yeah, thanks for coming to Working Title. Uh, it's fun every once in a while to just say unhinged awful shit for a couple minutes and then... This wasn't, yeah, sorry this wasn't for, a super sorry, short. Sorry for whomever days, who's ever, whom. <laughs> I'm sorry for whoever D's is. And yeah, uh, I hope you find your nuts again. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Card. All right. Yeah. Or he says, "Ho, oh, oh! ho!" <laughs> he screams. She's the man. Was that the Jersey Devil right there? Faster. He says, I'm Dwayne Johnson, J Dwayne, I, uh, Dwayne Johnson. I'm the rock and I'm a Jersey girl. <laughs> he says, Jersey girls are undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hunter wasn't here to do it. Someone had to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys listening. It's fun. Yep. I, l I love you. Yeah, indeed. And I want you. And I'm that's, a warrior. That's it. I'm a warrior.